Memphis Monday 108 sewing machine cabinet with a machine lift part one of two. Oh lordy what have we got ourselves into now? Well welcome to another uh, Memphis Monday Memphis Monday 108 uh, building a sewing cabinet with a built-in uh, lift for the uh, sewing machine. Uh, it's going to be made out of oak and it's a two-part project. Uh, during part one today, we build this. And then uh, in part two, we'll uh, do the top and the lift mechanism and the fold down, uh, uh, the, the fold down leaves uh, that uh, come with it. And we also have to figure out some kind of door to put on that opening there. But we're not going to get anything done unless we do what? That's right. Let's knock off the chit chat and get to work. This is another one of those projects where uh, you see a picture on the internet and, um, well, can you make that? Oh, sure I can. And uh, here's kind of the picture of it. Uh, we're going to change the design a little bit. Uh, it's going to basically be two boxes. It'll be this box on this side with the drawers. And then there'll be this box over here. I. I don't plan on putting these big doors in there. Uh, then it'll have a top with a fold down top on the left and a fold down top on the right. And then it'll have this machine lift rigged um, on the inside uh, where you can push the machine up and down. Speed things up, I've already started to lay out the uh, carcass of the case. This is three quarter inch uh, uh, maple plywood and here's the small box and over here is the big box and these will uh, both of the two boxes will be sitting on four legs uh, sort of independently now the question is how do you connect those two uh, boxes together uh, so that the thing is uh, strong and stable let's take a look at that first thing I'm doing to uh, connect the two boxes together I'll be putting these uh, oak stringers, these two and a half inch oak stringers that'll run the entire length of the piece and they're set in these notches. Here on the drawing you can see the second thing we're doing is we're putting this radius uh, piece of oak in here between the two boxes that'll uh, both stabilize the two boxes and also provide support for the uh, top. The third thing will be the back here will be covered with a sheet of uh, half inch maple plywood that will run the entire length. Uh, that will pull it together into one unit. And then finally uh, the whole thing will be held together by one unit uh, because the top will be connected both to the small box or the large box of disand and the small and the uh, smaller box of this end plus it'll be connected all the way along uh, the edges here and that'll that'll bring the whole unit uh, together as one piece. I have the cases uh, dry fitted here uh, to get my spacing right and uh, you know figure out how I'm going to put this thing together. Um, before we start the hard stuff uh, let me go ahead and uh, glue and nail uh, these two sections together uh, then we'll get started. I got the two, uh, two boxes glued up and I built a new uh, lower workbench so that I could work on this thing. A lot of the work we're going to do is on the top and I got to be able to reach it. Uh, perfect situation be if it was on the ground but um, I have trouble working on the ground so I built this, um, this deal here and it's movable. So, we'll be able to get around to it. Okay, let's knock off the chit chat and uh, hook this thing together. But in uh, putting it together, uh, sticking the two boxes together, really what I have to do is I have to level it. I turn my table into a layup table. You can see that line right there. And using various levels and stuff had to get the uh, 
the two pieces align that way and use shims to uh, get that all correct. And then this is bored across here. Uh, make sure that the top and bottom of this, uh, make sure that this distance here and this distance here are the same. And that my brace pieces here all come out even. Of course, in the easiest part is actually connecting connecting together. Now you've seen this shot, the strength that this thing's going to have. I'm not using any glue here, but I'm using these uh, real good screws. Um, this brace is just oak. It's three and a half inches wide. It's not only connected to the vertical pieces, it's also connected to the horizontal bottom down here to give it maximum rigidity. But before we finish these uh, stringers here, these back braces, uh, we got some work we got to do on the top. Let me show you the scam. Now back over here to our pitcher, uh, before we finish these, this uh, uh, bracing, this horizontal bracing, I, I need to work on the mechanism for these drop down uh, table. Uh, sides here. I have these fancy uh, these fancy hinges. You inset them. You can see the little circles there. You inset them right there, and then they when the thing thing will fold straight down, and then it'll come out and lay horizontally. But of course, you need some bracing out here. Um, what they used is the door they had the door open up and then the the uh, the tabletop would rest on that door and I don't like that same thing over here so I've come up with a different scheme let's go look at it instead of using the door I'm going to use these slide out braces these are pieces of oak that will slide in these channels and then the fold out tabletop will rest and slide these out slide these out and the tabletop will be reinforced with these. I got one mocked up on the other end. Let's go look at it. Okay, here I have a kind of a, a mock-up of it. Here's the, uh, the brace. It'll slide out like that and it'll be held in place by the top uh, by the top and then they fold out go like that. So if we get back here and look at it, so if we get back here and look at it, it'll look like that. Okay, I guess that system's going to work, so let's uh, go ahead and put the, put the rest of that uh, horizontal bracing in. What we have to do now is cut this radius on this center brace, and we need to be mindful that that's, go that, that's going to show, and if it's not right, uh, if it's cattywampus, uh, it's going to be noticeable. We've covered uh, how to set this up two or three times, so I won't go over it this time. But it's pretty easy, but it's important to be able to do these radiuses because... Our brains are real good at picking out these errors. So if you don't get it right, 
uh, it'll definitely show. This brace will be uh, in compression as opposed to tension or any kind of torque. Um, so I'm going to be uh, holding it in place with uh, pocket screws. In addition to the uh, pocket screws, I'm also going to be gluing this piece here to the underside of this other of this brace here. Now with the addition of this trim here, not only is it uh, it's for trimming out these, the case, um, but it's also a continuous uh, oak band that runs the entire length. It's in there for strength too. What I like to do is uh, I like to fill in these uh, brad divots. Remember, set your uh, set your brad gun so it'll leave a little hole for this stuff to fit in. But I like to do it uh, as I go. Not that I'm Mr. Efficient by any means. It's just a lot easier. I got that back in there and I put this uh, oak brace down the center because in here uh, we'll be mounting this uh, lift mechanism next week um, which will be uh, lowering and raising the, uh, the sewing machine. Now let me show you what I'm doing next. I'm uh, trying something different. I'm going to install these uh, install these wheels now. Uh, I'm not taking the uh, I'm not taking the the, uh, the box off the table right yet, um, so this may be a mistake. So it's going to be it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun watching watching me uh, try to turn this thing over on this uh, on this short bench. Piece of cake. So now the theory is I can see I can move it around on here and you know conveniently work on it. Okay. Okay, here you can see the lifting mechanism in here that we just looked at. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna install a shelf right here that'll go between that'll split this large box in two. Okay, here's our version of that large box and the shelf will go right through here. Now you may ask yourself, well how come I didn't put dados in here? And let me give the honest answer. I forgot. 
there's a lot of ways to do this, but the easiest way to make sure that line is um, exactly the same height as the other one and is perfectly level with the bottom um, is to just get you a measuring jig like this and then uh, scribe a line right across there. Then you can align your cleat up with that line. I shouldn't have admitted that uh, I forgot to put those dados in. I should just said that this is an alternate way to put in shelves because not everybody has you know fancy uh, uh, dado sets and all that stuff. Uh, just remember to put the cleats recess them back here. I recess this back about three and a half inches so you can't see them and then the shelf just slides in like that and I'll hold it in with a couple of brads and then you can put your trim right along here and you know you can't really tell the difference. Okay here I'm trimming it out. I got to get the trim on it before I can put the doors and uh, drawers in it. Finally got it to, to fit using a scroll saw. I'll, I'll do the other three and we'll be on a roll. Okay, so I got the uh, cabinet front on here. Uh, got all the trim. Now uh, what we're going to need to do is put our doors and drawers in. Uh, we'll be putting a door uh, here, a drawer, a large drawer here that'll slide out 18 inches. And then we'll have four drawers over here that'll be 18 inch drawers on the uh, small side. So let's knock off the yammering and get to work. This is a system I came up with uh, to install these uh, drawer guides. Um, all I gotta do you got two different problems when you install these things. One is to hold them in place while you uh, screw them in. Um, then the other problem is uh, getting them level and you know, plumb with one another all the way down. So what I did is I made these blocks that are the correct spa spacing. Uh, not only do they give the correct measurements, but they also uh, position. They also hold hold the uh, hold it in place. Now all I could do is put the put the next one in. And it's automatically lined up and uh, also held in place. So it's just a matter of putting the screws in. We're building this uh, larger box the same way we built the smaller boxes. We've got the dado that goes all the way around to receive the bottom. Uh, the difference is, of course, it's just a bigger box, but also I use 3 16 inch plywood on the small boxes, but I'm going to be using half inch plywood uh, here. Then you just go along this back and put some uh, staples in it. What I'm talking about. Okay, we got our uh, five drawers installed. Uh, I guess time to start thinking about some uh, drawer fronts. Let's knock off the chit chat and get to work. To get the effect I want uh, on these doors, our little doors, uh, I've got to run the uh, piece through the router table twice to get the effect I want.
and then that will give a that that nice edge right there. Here I'm putting the uh, handles on. I'll uh, I'll go ahead and get these handles on, and we're just we'll be about ready to work on that large that large drawer front. Now this is a solid piece of oak for this uh, big drawer front. Ordinarily, big piece of wood like this tend to warp and get crazy on you, but I think we'll be okay here because it's backed up with this plywood behind it. That'll kind of keep it straight. And I'll, and I'll also uh, put some extra screws back here. Well, there, there it is. We got our case done. Got this uh, one big drawer here. Got these four smaller drawers, but they're still good, pretty good size. Got our mechanism all rigged up there for our lift. There's our radius we put in. So uh, pretty, pretty satisfied with the uh, our work so far. I'm still trying to decide on this um, on this opening right here, what kind of door I should put in there. Well, that'll do it for another uh, Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 108, uh, building the sewing machine, the oak sewing machine uh, cabinet with built-in lift, part one. Um, pretty satisfied with our design. Uh, I, we kind of concentrated uh, more on the cabinet building uh, this time and the layup and the design uh, kind of skipped through the um, uh, skipped through the um, drawers because um, we've built so many drawers that uh, just go back a couple of videos and you'll see all kinds of that. Uh, next uh, week is going to be next uh, episode. I don't know if it'll be next week, part two anyway. Uh, it'll be pretty exciting because we got some leaves to build and a top and a hole in the top and we've got to rig in the lift and a pretty, uh, it's going to be a pretty uh, intense next week. So let's get excited and uh, a like and comment and favorite and share and all that business you do on the internet. But most of all, what, yep, the most important thing is make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.